I am Johnny. I am from Gerald, Texas, 27 years old, and this is Financial Audit. 27 years old. Yeah. Okay. Normally, I just break into this like we normally do, normally do but I want to say, I want to especially thank you for coming on here because I think this is going to be potentially one of, if not the craziest situations we've ever seen. Okay. Uh, so I, I just want to let you know, I appreciate you coming on here because this situation, a lot of Americans can probably relate to it. And so for those who are watching, you are actively helping them by you being here. Awesome. So thank you for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you do for a living? I, uh, I work in, uh, ga- in natural gas. Natural gas. Okay. Yeah. Like what, what, what do you do? So we fix like gas leaks and uh, replace oh, gas services cool. and stuff like that. And you are married. Yes. What is the annual household income? About 120 K. Okay. It's always the people with a good income, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. More okay. money, more problems. Yeah. More yeah. money. Apparently more not having any money. Yeah. <laughs> um, geez. So uh, what hits your guys' account on a monthly basis? Um, we have the car payment. No, no, no. I mean, like, what money comes in? Oh, so we have just mine her income. I, I'm trying to think, like, what's your post tax and all that stuff? What, is, what does it come out to? So, I'm I, guessing it's a month. I think it's about seven thousand. <laughs> okay, that makes yeah. sense. And like, health insurance is taken out before. Are you guys right. contributing to your four hundred one ks? Um, no, she just got offered four hundred one k today, actually. So okay, and you are not. No. I don't have any benefits. So you think it's about a seven? I'm, I'm guessing like 7,500. Do you think it's 7,000? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Closer to 7,000. Closer to 7,000? Yeah. We'll do 7,000 then because you would know. So $7,000 hits your account on a monthly basis. Cool. Most people would say, cool. That's great, especially living in a rural town. Cool. Yeah. $7,000. We can do a lot. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, just a reminder, click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers, and we're, I mean, pretty close. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. Okay. I mean, we're, we're just starting with the first account, right? Yep. And I am going to dig into you because I need to make sure you and everyone else out there knows how absolutely dire your situation is. Because if we go to a place where we're like, okay, we know it's not good, but it's not bad either. Right, right. It's like then you're not going to do what's necessary to actually get out of it. But here we start <laughs> with negative $222 in your checking account. We start with that. And not only that, 8,449 comes in. That's great. Some of it was in savings and different stuff. That's a great amount of money. That's fantastic. We ended with $433. What is happening off the bat? What is up with your financial situation? What's going on? Give us anything. I think it's mostly just eating out is where most of our most of our money goes. You're to. not eating out eight thousand dollars a month. Between we were paying for two apart for two rents for about three months. We moved out of one apartment into our house because we were in a studio. So we were paying about twelve hundred dollars a month on the studio and then moved into the house and that's about seventeen fifty. During month. the time of these statements? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And we just actually we just paid the last um, bill on the apartment. Did you buy the house or are you renting it? Renting. Okay. So you're saying you eat out five thousand dollars a month? Yeah. Among other things. You must be going crazy. Were you going to like the nicest steakhouses twice a day? <laughs> No, we're, I think we children. Both, yes, one child, six months. Okay, well that adds money. Yeah. That adds money. I wouldn't say five thousand dollars of eating out. No, but no, it's not just that. And by the way, two hundred four dollars was yanked from your existence in fees because you're overdrafting and crap. Yeah, dude, it makes no sense. Okay, For, I mean, I have to ask. I have to ask because we need to get into your mindset. If we have Adobe, we have a Peacock subscription, uh, some security service that you did, McDonald's, the uh, $200 was taken out for auto safe safety, and we're going to Hobby Lobby and Whataburger and Starbucks and some tortilla place and Olive Garden and Dutch Bros and Wendy's and going to McDonald's and Major Burger and Netflix and door dashing things. We don't even have money on door dashing things. And Wingstop and Dutch Bros and Rob Zozi's Cajun Cafe. Amazon Prime, uh, Raising Canes, Dutch Bros, a Hulu subscription, Longhorn Steak, Whataburger, Dutch Bros, two car, uh, card payments, card payments, card payments, 
Security service fees, again, twice in one month. I don't even know what that is. Getting our car washed, because that's a necessary uh, expense to survive. Dutch Bros, Panda Express, Whataburger, Firehouse Subs, Domino's, Domino's, Credit One, uh, the auto security safety bullshit again. Some, you know, going out to eat, going out to eat, pizza, going out to eat, going out to eat, dude. And then Prime Video, we have that. We have, we're Venmoing out money, $575. Who knows where the f*** that went. <laughs> Discovery Plus, more Adobe because the one Adobe we had wasn't enough. The 575 is actually rent. So we break it up into three payments. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Three, I was like, 575, you, great. Yeah, you were going off, so I didn't want to interrupt you. But yeah, the, the 575 is rent. Um, the two hundred dollar auto save—that's just something it pulls from our checking into our Chase savings. Yeah, when you're like over. Or, oh no 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 yeah. Oh, so just well, that explains yeah. all the money that came that you were depositing from your savings right. into here because we don't have money. Yeah. And HBO Max subscriptions is what we have in Waterburger and Venmo and Dutch Bros and Spotify and Mojo Coffee, YouTube something. Looks like you rented a video, perhaps. Yeah. Mexican Grill, <sighs> McDonald's, Subway. Dutch Bros. Uh, some animation thing, I think. I, I don't know. I can't read it very well. Um, oh, sorry. That was the security thing. Uh, and then the, an the, $50, bill. the $50 every week is my old truck. Yeah. I, I totaled it and we'll get, uh, didn't oh. have insurance. And well, we'll get there. Yeah. Let's, let's just get through the checking account first. Yeah. Again, a car wash. We need two car washes in a month to survive, apparently. Formaswift.com, Olive Garden, Starbucks, Dutch Bros, Chick-fil-A, Taco Casa, Starbucks, purchasing things on Steam, overdraft fee, overdraft fee, overdraft fee, overdraft fee. What are we doing? Buddy, if you know we are overdrafting, if all this crap is going wrong, I need to know any potential logic behind your couple's relationship, this marriage why are you guys going to these restaurants? This isn't where you spend all your money. This is a thick stack. Yeah. But that's the checking account. In every page, there's just green slices of crap. Why? Why are you doing it? If you objective, you have to know it's bad. Because yeah. you are negative every single month. Tell me. No, I, I, there's no excuse. I mean, we don't have an excuse. It's just... No, no, no. It's not about an excuse. I need to know why. Where's your mindset at so we can overcome this? Honestly, I don't know. Do you guys not give a... No, because we always we'll always come to like the end of our you know whenever we go negative or whatever and we're like we have to stop we have to get better we have to we have to save money and then we get paid again and then it's just the same thing over and why over. Why doesn't it? I couldn't tell you. Is it both of you? Is it yeah. one of you more? No, it's, it's both of us. Okay, it's definitely both of us. Yeah. Total overdraft fees year to date, and we're not we're a quarter of the way through this year. Seven hundred forty-eight dollars. Yeah, that's insane. That's insane. Just this period, two hundred four dollars. The savings that you transferred to—is there anything in there right now? Yes. How much? Um, last time I checked, about forty-five hundred. Why? Why are you overdrafted if you have forty-five hundred dollars in the savings? Because um, she doesn't want to spend the savings money. That doesn't make sense. You've lost the seven hundred fifty dollars this year. Yeah. Wife, if you are watching this, please understand that makes <laughs> no mathematical sense. Seven hundred fifty bucks you've lost because you're not willing to transfer forty five hundred. Not angry at you. I'm angry at the debt. No, I know. But I want <laughs> because immediately you don't have retirement. No. How old is she? Uh, we're same age, 27. How old is your kid? Six months. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. 27. Yeah. No retirement. Stacked in debt. Stacked in debt. Yeah. Riddled in debt. And no retirement. We, congratulate, everything else in here is literally just cards and crap. Credit cards and debts. Yes. Nothing that's ever paid off, by the way. No. And then we do get it paid off, and then we just go and spend them again. Okay. Well, first off, before we even get into them, let's just say, you are not credit card people. You are not. No. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay not to be a credit card person. Chop them up. It doesn't matter. Whatever benefits someone might get from a credit card, you are not getting. You are losing so much money. So much money, yeah? Yeah. So this situation is scary. You need... 
to chop those things up. Use like the Fizz card that I talk about because it, it, it can help your credit kind of like a, a credit card, but mm-hmm. it's a debit card and it helps spend within certain categories that you want. It helps you manage your spending a little better. But for example, on this, just this card itself, 625 premium uh, previous balance. We made a, a payment of 160. Okay, cool. We're, I mean, we're bringing in $7,000 a month. It should be more than that. But okay, we did that. But then we... Purchased one hundred thirty dollars. One hundred thirty dollars was purchased. Yeah. If we kn- are you guys trying to get out of debt? Is that you? Is, is has it? We we always tr- well, like we had them all paid off for a few months, and then um, whenever my son was born, she was off for like three uh, weeks, and then I was off for a week, and I wasn't making that much money to begin with at the time. And she's paid hourly. She's not like salary. She, yeah, yeah, we're both paid hourly. Yeah. She, they, she was getting maternity leave, like, but she was like only getting 75% of her pay. Oh, come on. Yeah. And so then, you only lost 25%. Yeah, but I wasn't, again, I was only making, at the time I was doing pest control and I was only doing like less than 20 hours a week. So, yeah. Why are, why are we possibly putting money on a card that we're, we don't, we're not even, okay, not only that, not only that, but with, after your payment and after your purchases... Plus fees and interest. You have a six hundred twenty dollar balance on a card that has a cap of six hundred dollars. Cap of six hundred dollars. Yep. So, do we just not care? I need I need to know something, it, or I just no. I mean, we definitely care. I just I don't I don't know I don't know what it is. We just we have the money and then we spend it like we just it's there and then it's gone. Um, whether it be gas or eating out or going shopping or whatever. Now, these cards that you have are shit cards. Right. Right? Yeah, because we both have terrible credit, so they were the only ones that we could get approved for. And what are we doing on here? We're Dutch Brosing, and we're McDonald'sing, and Chick-fil-A-ing, and McDonald'sing, and Chick-fil-A-ing, and tacos, and Dutch Bros, and Willie Gay, and uh, Really Grill, and Ice. I'm not happy about that. That is where I'm a little upset at you. That's stupid. Yeah. That is stupid. If we're over our credit card balance, we're not making any progress when we're spending on it. Yeah. That's objectively stupid. And guess what? Total fees charged in 2023 because you're overspending. These have like monthly fees mm-hmm. just to be a member of the card. So not even if you have balances, these terrible cards have fees on a monthly basis uh, with no benefits. So total fees, again, we're only a quarter in of 2023, $78 on one card one card lost in total interest of 70 bucks yeah. lost and then we are still we're with the same company here but we have a, we have a new a new a different card previous balance 789 dollars on an 800 dollar credit limit paying 94 dollars okay we're making progress but then we put on it 86 dollars 34 cents with interest charge of $25.65 and congratulations fees again of $12 meaning that not only one card now two cards two out of your like a billion cards we are over the credit limit yeah over the credit limit yeah yep so again the mentality whatever it was like it's just it's applying to this it's like we don't have money but we kind of do Sometimes, yeah, uh, yeah. What? pretty much all of them oh and with this, it was like we went to Walmart and Star Mart. So, I mean, like, it's either gas or groceries. But, like, we, we do that from our checking account when we're not credit card people. Right. We're going to talk about all those methods in the end. But this is the painful part where yeah. we go through the pain. Oh, yeah, it already hurts. We'll get through the good part. Yeah. It should. <laughs> and you need to know how much it hurts. And yeah. people who are going down the road, like, you need to know how much it hurts. Right. So that we can just improve people's lives. But... Again, fees charged in 2023 so far, $61. Interest charged, $71. And again, that's two cards out of like the billion you have. Right. Okay. Credit one now. Oh, my. Uh, oh, that's a, no, it is. Credit limit, $300, but your previous balance was $557. No, no, you didn't pay on, uh, you didn't spend money with this card because there was there, there, there was there was no money to spend your balance is just completely gone you made $30 payment so that's like the minimum monthly payment Ugh. with $8.25 of fees 
$12.83 of interest. New balance, five forty eight. So really no progress was made. Yeah. Total fees for 2023, $24. Total interest, $40. Let's go to another card, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Credit limit six hundred dollars. You were under at this time at five eighty three, but that gave you an excuse to spend money, which makes no sense. That is not an excuse to spend money just because we have we have eighteen bucks on there that we can spend thirty dollars of payments. We spent thirty seven dollars. No fees for this one, but interest of fourteen dollars twenty six cents, and now we're over the credit limit by three dollars and ninety cents. So total balance now six hundred three dollars, with total interest charge twenty twenty three forty one dollars, and you went to Star Mart probably gas right? Yeah, I assume. Not credit card people. Not credit card people. Yeah. Say that in your sleep. Not credit yeah. card people, because you are not. Now with a visa, because we just open every credit card that we can possibly apply for, right? That we can possibly get approved for. Swipe, 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 swipe. Apply, apply, apply. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Yeah. Yep. Okay. $269 previous balance payments of 82 bucks, but congratulations for making purchases of $132. Fees charge of 54 25 cents. $54 within the last month and $8.83 of interest charged. Now, our balance is $383 with a total credit limit of $300. In Fabletics, do we need to be going to Fabletics? Fabletics, do we need to be going to Fabletics again? In $29 of additional uh, card fee, monthly servicing fee of $625, annual fee of $48. My goodness, uh, I should go into the credit card, the predatory credit card business because these people just make money off of you. Yeah. It's insane. And then interest on purchases, $883. Total fees charged, uh, 2023 $98. $96. Total interest charge in the year so far, $26. We have another card. We're getting through the pile yeah. slowly. <laughs> Previous balance, $521 on a credit limit of $500. You made a $25. You made a you made a $25 payment, so you had $4 on there, which gave you an excuse to go purchase. You purchased $76 of stuff. Giving you interest of fourteen dollars seventy cents with a balance of five thousand eight or five hundred eighty seven dollars on a credit limit of five hundred dollars. I'm disgusted right now. I mean that was like optimum, so like some health. That's thing, our right? uh, internet. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. In again, interest fourteen seventy. Total interest charged year to date twenty six dollars forty six cents with a thirty percent interest rate. We're back to credit run. We just can't leave them. We love them too much. Credit limit three hundred dollars. Previous balance three twenty three. Uh, Thirty dollar payment. You didn't purchase anything on here. Probably because you didn't have any money. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. Because yeah. there's a new balance of three hundred nine dollars. Because fees were charged eight twenty five. Interest charged for seven forty eight. Uh, total annual fees three thirty three. Total interest charge twenty nine. Last but not least, credit one. Four eighty one. Previous balance, but there's a credit limit of five hundred, so we're below that. But that means we have an excuse to go purchase things again. Thirty dollars of payments, forty five dollars of purchases, twelve dollars twelve cents of interest charge with total interest this year thirty five dollars at a thirty percent interest rate essentially, and <coughs> went to Dutch Bros. Dude, you guys are screwing yourselves. Yeah. You are f***ing up your entire life. Yeah. Okay, I want to make that crystal clear before we put any plan together. Do you understand? Do you both understand? Are you on the same page that your life right now is just f Yeah. We, we, yeah, we know what our financial situation is. Yeah. Okay, sure. how long have you been in this financial situation? Um, since we've been together. How long has that been? About three years. Okay. Yeah. So... What immediately makes me nervous if nothing has happened for three years and we've known everything we've known it's been since we've been together, what's going to change now? Um, I'm hoping having a the having our kid would would kind of change around, but yeah, absolutely, that's a good reason. If there's yeah. a reason, that's a reason, yeah, because we don't want to we don't want to live like this forever, especially having him around. 
You mentioned a car thing and some other things as well. So what's up? What's that? I don't have the statements for those. So uh, I had a truck back in 2017, 2018. Mm-hmm. Um, I was making payments on, you know, it was before I met my wife and everything and um, making payments on it. I didn't have insurance on it. I wasn't paying that. And then I flipped it and totaled it. And uh, so they, yeah. So they basically in collections now. In collections. Yeah. And um, so I'm paying $50 a week. So you have a payment plan with them? Yeah. And so that's the security. interest? Um, No, I don't think so. Okay. No. And what's the balance remaining? Um, it should be around three thousand ish now. Cool. What about your current car? Um, so that's um, I think we owe around thirty thousand left on that. Jeez. The interest rate's pretty high. I think it's ten, eleven percent. Oh, maybe death. more. Could be more. <laughs> I'm just right high. Yeah. What's the minimum monthly payment for that? Um, six eighty. Oh. Is that just one? Is there another car? No, no. I drive her old car. That's paid off. Good. Yeah. What is that car? Um, the one we're paying on. A 2020 Chevy Equinox. Yeah. We might be selling that. I'm not sure yet. Okay. But we might have to. See how far in the hole you are. Any other debts? Not that I can think of, no. Okay. So that's all. You only have that much. Yeah. We only have only. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight credit cards that are either maxed out or well over. over maxed out, plus a truck that doesn't even exist that you're paying on, and a ridiculous car with a ridiculously high interest rate. Yep. So your minimum monthly payments on your debts are over $1,000. And this is for nothing that's even benefiting you except for one of the cars. Right. Everything else is just money you've spent and whatever you spent it on is gone. Fees and interest, not including either of your cars, by the way. This is just on the credit cards. Fees and interest, first quarter this year, $632.41 has been ripped from your existence. Thoughts? (sighs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And your total debt owed is $35,720.15. Which actually does not sound insane. Right. This is insane the way you've done it. Right. Your minimum payments on your debts are $1,000, but the amount that you spent on food going out to eat was $1,578.50 in a month. Is that not insane? Oh, yeah. It's insane. It's ridiculous. It's aggressively insane. And all your bills and fees were 1751 Overdraft fees, 204 Subscriptions, $175. <sighs> Walmart, whatever, is that only grocery store shopping? Yeah, usually it's baby formula. $571 in a month of baby formula? Yeah. Not just okay. baby formula, but yeah, diapers, wipes, okay. clothes, all okay. that stuff. He yeah. grew out of all the clothes that we had for him in the first month, so. Yeah, babies do that. Yeah. And then he has to have expensive formula because he has a sensitive stomach, so it's like $35 a can. He goes through that like every two days, so. You're killing yourself. You guys are killing yourself. So what is very clear from my situation, this is a disaster. Credit cards need to be gone today. Like, it's not even an option. When you guys are home, if you are you guys on the same page, relatively? Yes. Yeah. If you guys are, then burn them. Yeah. Have a ceremony. Burn them. Yeah. All of them? Every single credit card. All of them? Yeah. You can ask all of them after this, all of them? Yeah. Well, uh, you all of them. Yeah. Right. Okay. What? Well, we're just trying to build our credit back up, too. F- your credit. I don't give a <laughs> sh-. Credit is awesome for those who can utilize it. You are being taken advantage of by that system. Okay. Someday we can talk about it. Again, I've mentioned it millions of times. I think I may have said it in this episode already. I don't know. You can use the Fizz card yeah. that I recommend, and that builds credit, and it's a debit card. Dude, insanity is what this is. Build credit. You guys are over maxed out on the build credit. You build credit. No. Build credit's not in the conversation. Maybe we can talk about that eventually, but no. Build credit. Build credit. (laughs) So, every person is situation to situation. Your situation is... Dave Ramsey is perfect for you. You know him? Yeah. 
Okay. We've listened to Dave Ramsey. Oh, he is perfect for you. Your debt is laid out in such a perfect way to follow his whole baby steps model. And he does the snowball method when it comes to paying off debt, which, of course, was invented uh, like when money was invented. So he didn't invent that. But it's a part of his baby steps, and it would work for you. I would probably modify his first one uh, to meet your situation, and we will get your budget here in a bit, especially since you have a kid. It's a little more risky. Yeah. But I want... If this wasn't already clear enough about how dire the situation is, I want to talk to you about the child aspect of this thing. You guys have zero retirement, barely anything in savings. Yes, you guys are below 30, but with where you guys are headed, with nothing in retirement and always in debt for the rest of your lives, that is irresponsible of a parent because you are forcing your child to have to deal with you right. as a required expense later instead of you sacrificing now, saying, okay, let's not live this extreme lifestyle we're living now. Let's take care of ourselves and we will actually have money to set ourselves up in the, for the rest of our lives eventually, you know, when we're in our 60s. Mm-hmm. And they won't have to worry about it. What is happening now is irresponsible parenting. Yep. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Good. So if none if none of that else mattered, that should. Yeah. That is critical. And show them this video at some point. Do it. Be like, this is why you shouldn't go into debt. <laughs> uh, mom and dad made that mistake. Yeah. Learn from our mistakes. So we need to build a budget, and then we need to attack this thing. Because it, it's as easy as that. I mean, that's what it's going to come down to for you. Rent. What is it? A seventeen twenty-five a month. <sighs> you're rural. You're rural. Why is it so expensive? It's. It's that was the cheapest place we could find. I guess it's small, so not a lot of options, right? Yeah. Everything in Cedar Park was like two thousand over. So. Cedar Park. Yeah, we're we're from Liberty Hill originally, so Cedar Park is like, kind of halfway between both of our jobs. Oh, okay. So. Utilities, internet, renters insurance, all of that combined, best guess? Um, probably about 300. Gas between the both of you for cars? Um, I probably spend close to $100 in gas a week. Okay, and her? Um, she spends a little bit less. Her car gets better gas mileage, but it's probably about 50 to 60. It's about an hour. It's about an hour drive for me to work, and about thirty to forty-five for her. So an average of oh my gosh, dude, that's something. That's something bad. That's six hundred ninety-three dollars a month on average. That's insane. Car insurances? Yeah, it's on. Um, it's for both of them. I think it's about six hundred. Oh. No, it's a lot less than that. I'm sorry. A lot less? Yeah, because I think for her new car, it's only about. 200 okay and for the the camry that i drive it's like it's like 110 so if that 310 yeah sorry no it's okay good 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 okay so with the baby stuff and yes babies are expensive but you don't have to go crazy and a lot of people i've looked at the baby budget breakdown i know what can be spent on food and babies and stuff for a household Mm -hmm. i think think you can do about 500 bucks for the household, maybe 600. We'll say 600 in hope to cut it to 500. We'll do that for food for the household, okay? Yeah. What are your thoughts on that specifically? It sounds about right, probably. You don't have to eat fancy stuff. Right. Healthy, sure, but we don't have to be going crazy. And then stuff for the household to keep it in order, 100 bucks a month is fine. Yeah. Don't have to go crazy. And then the debts, where are we at? thousand ten dollars a month oh any other minimum monthly payments no not that i can think of health and in, health insurance is all taken out of it's just before on, income yeah it's on hers it's just her and the baby it's okay. about eight hundred dollars a month why aren't you on it you need to be on it you're a dad now yeah get on it but it's already eight hundred dollars a month for just her and you got to get on it okay you need to make sure you're getting your yearlies get blood work get everything you're a dad take care of yourself so you're there for your kids future yeah okay and no car washes are no longer in the budget restaurants are no longer in the budget steam purchases are no longer in the budget 
and all that other crap that was relentless and McDonald's and Chick-fil-A and all the other crap you guys are doing. Subscriptions, they're out of the budget. Internet, yes. Watch YouTube videos. It's fantastic here. It's a good time. Everything else is out. No more Netflix, no more nothing. You cannot afford it. You have minimum monthly expenses to survive of $4,738, okay? Mm -hmm. If you guys are actually going to do this, if you guys are going to be adults, responsible parents, you will follow that budget and go crazy. Because congratulations, and I don't mean that in a sarcastic way for once, I don't think this is going to take forever. You've been incredibly insane and stupid and just like... Terrible with credit cards, but all of it added together is creating a balance with an income that you have that you can just beat down. Yeah? So, 2000 strictly following the budget, $2,262 is left. And with $5,720, take 15 months. For the situation you're in, that's not crazy. Your kid will be a year and a half. Old, yeah. and then your entire future is ahead of you. You guys will be 28, 29. It's a year and a half. Yeah, that's crazy. And what do you do? I mean, with this two thousand two hundred sixty-two dollars, with that you kill your smallest four credit cards. Actually, what I would? Oh no, no, no! How much was in your savings? Four thousand five hundred. Perfect. Yeah. We're keeping it there. That's almost. That's like your minimum monthly expense. That's perfect. Keep it there. Don't use it now. For now, uh, two thousand two hundred. 62, kill your bottom three credit cards, bottom four, and then kill your next three, two and a half to three. You just keep going until the smallest credit card to the largest credit card is paid off, and then you kill the truck, and then you kill the car. I don't think you need to sell the car in this situation. What you can do, if you want to sell it, I don't know, what's your credit score? Um, last I checked, it was like a 560, 570. Hers is about the same. I'm going to say, get a, we, we, yeah. with the income you have, okay, let's just pay this car off and then keep these two cars for as long as you can. We'll build up a car fund. What's the car you're driving now? It's a 2011 Camry. Okay. I'll need a car fund at some point. Yeah. But seriously, a year and a half. A year and a half. What is that in the grand scheme of things? Yeah. Drop in the bucket. Yeah. It's, it's nothing. Your kid won't even have any memory. <laughs> Nothing's even like being, being like imprinted on him. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, he? He, yeah. Uh, he's a couple years away. He won't know you guys are, are not having fun and going out to eat. Yeah. And work extra hard. Do some Ubering in the new car or something like that. Some Uber Eats if you want in the end. Cut this down to a year instead of a year and a half. Right. I mean, as hard as you want to work, as, as quick as you will get out of this situation, yeah? Right. So, from there, what is critical, now you'll have 3000 because uh, the, the debt minimum monthly payments are gone, $3,272 a month. We probably want you to have about... Twenty-one thousand dollars in an emergency fund. You already have forty-five hundred. Divide that by the three thousand two hundred seventy-two dollars. You'll have extra. So boom, two years. Two years. You have a fully funded emergency fund, and you have no credit card debt, no card debt. You don't open up another credit card because you'll go back in this situation. This is clearly your y'all's instinct. Right. So if we recognize that, then we say, okay, we're just not going to do it. Because our lives actually matter. And you can take advantage. If you get out of these credit cards, get out of the car, and get into uh, what I would allow, if credit is super important at that time, what I would allow is like a get you a $100 gas card mm. that you, you put one fill up on a month on there and pay it off every month and nothing more. Just pay it off as soon as we get it. But that still scares me. But if credit card is that important, if credit is that important to you, then do that in this later situation in right. two years. Right. But burn these cards now so you never spend on them. Remove them from all your virtual wallets. Any, anything. 
destroy them, burn them, kill them. They do not exist because they're killing you and making it so that your finances do not exist. Right. Then you have so much money to work with. Let's say your income stays the same. $3,500, which is about what your needs will be. That's rent, utilities, your gas, your car insurance, $600 a month for groceries, $100 for toilet paper, stuff like that. That'll be your needs category. That's perfect. Yeah. You don't need to go extra grocery shopping from there unless you increase your income or minimize your rent. You know, cut back on something. Your car insurance will be a little cheaper as well on the car that has debt right now. Right. Um, but from there, what I'm going to recommend for you guys is of the $7,000, $1,400 a month, 1400 is invested, whether that be in the 401k or Roth IRA or brokerage, you know, mm -hmm. or hybrid of all, $1,400. That's 20%. Right. Okay. You can spend that exact same amount on going out to restaurants again, budgeted in a category. Budgeted. You don't spend over that in fun. If you're going to go on a vacation that costs twice that much, you don't have fun for one month, then you can spend double the next month. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. You never touch your emergency fund for anything either. Yeah. Never. And then that additional 10% that's missing from the pie, it's going to go into a car fund. And you're going to take that to like, if you want a $20,000 car, you take that, ride it to 20, then trade in your car, sell your car, get as much as you can, buy your car in cash. Mm -hmm. Just don't go into debt again because you guys right. cannot do debt. Right. There are smart ways to do debt. It is for the vast minority of people. You cannot do it. And that's okay. It doesn't matter yeah. who gives a Yeah. And um, once you get that car, I'd keep that 10% going. And what you can do is use that $700 a month, continue going, ramp it up a little if you want to, cut from your, uh, cut from your needs where you can, or cut from your wants, especially don't cut from retirement though. Yeah. Um, and what that can be is a down payment fund on a house, because eventually you'll want a primary residence. Right, that's our goal in the next, next couple of years. That is not gonna happen in the next couple of years. Yeah. Two years, you're out of debt and have an emergency fund. And only then you're starting to save up to get a car and you're starting to contribute to retirement. House doesn't happen for probably about six to 10, but that's okay. Yeah. Who cares? You'll be in your mid thirties. Most people can't buy their homes until then anyway. That's fine. Yeah. That just makes you uh, someone who's doing well. Right. Okay. So don't be ashamed of that. Don't get rushed into it. Uh, once you get into the personal finance space, I get the lure mm -hmm. of like, well, nah, I don't want to pay rent. I want to have my mortgage going into my overall equity of my home. And while my home value goes up, it's a piece of property. It's great. You can pass it to your kids eventually. I get it. Right. You do not have to rush into it. Put your ov the overall grand, boring, grand scheme of your financial life. Take that into account over rushing into something. Because if you just save up a little, do an FHA in this area, the minimum monthly payment on that would be beyond unaffordable for your income. Right, right. Even in the like edge of suburbia, it will still be beyond unaffordable, even if interest rates are good. So that's what I do. We do need, like, that, like I said, in two years, when you guys are uh, 29, 20% mm -hmm. is going to retirement. We'll just base it off the average stock market return instead of the average S&P 500 return. I'm a slut for the S&P 500, and it does 10%, a little over 10% on average. Uh, historically, stock market, it's like 8%. So we'll just do that. And we'll do, what was it again? So 7,000, 20% of 7,000, 1,400. Doing that for 31 years. So that's great. If that follows the average return of the stock market historically for 31 years, so when you guys are 60, $1,400 a month, which, by the way, will go up because your income will go up over right. those 31 years. <clears throat> but let's just say in that for an example, $2.27 million, which is great. Or we can take into account the average inflation. Take into account the average inflation, that'll be $857,000. Which is still pretty good. So pretty good in today's money. In right. today's money. That's right. what it would feel like if you had it right now. Oh, wait. No, sorry. I, I, no, 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 I, no, no, no. I did that wrong. It, it would be $1.24 I was going to say that did not seem right. I typed in the wrong number. And if you use the 4% rule, you can withdraw $50,000 a year in today's money 
for the rest of your lives. And you'll have the paid off house at that point. Yeah. You'll have no debts. $50,000 in today's money would stretch a lot if you didn't have any debts. Right. Now, of course, again, as incomes go up, your contribution amount will go up. So it's going to be like $75,000 in today's money, $100,000 in today's money. It's always 20% of what you're bringing home that month. Mm-hmm. Okay. I would do that. At least 20% of post-tax. So, yes, there's a certain percentage that you're doing uh, pre-tax when, it, you know, uh, well, depending on what 401k you have. Either way, um, as long as it just comes out to a minimum 20% post-tax, because that's what we need to do. I'm, I am, not to go back to negativity, this situation in general deeply scares me. The track record, being on the same page and knowing that this is you for three years, yet nothing has been done, and what you bring me are overbalances and negative balances on your checking account? I'm terrified. I'm scared. I'm scared that you're going to be 60, there's going to not be a single cent in retirement. I'm scared that you're going to be 60, and you'll have like 20 credit cards with overbalances, and we're still negative on our checking account, and we've never owned a piece of real estate. I'm scared of that based on the history. Right. Prove me wrong. Do you know how much of an incredible success? To, let's just pretend I'm the most selfless person in the world and I only care about me for a second. Let's just pretend like that. Because sometimes when people see people being YouTubers, they forget they're actual people right. and they just assume they're like an entity. Let's assume that. Even if you do all that, do you know how good that looks for my channel? Yeah. That you have succeeded? Yeah. In the most selfish way possible? So please prove me wrong. I actually really want you to prove me wrong so that you guys can have an incredible life. So your kid can have an incredible life. And then we can put the situation on display for everyone so they can have incredible lives. That only does it if you change what's been happening. If you follow the budget that we laid out and put on screen. If you follow that, two years, fully funded emergency fund, no more debt. 60 years old, we're retiring comfortably and setting up our kid for success along the way. And maybe having more, if that's what y'all, if that's yeah. what y'all are into. <laughs> Depends on who you ask, but yeah. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> Tell me, realistically, knowing your history, you two together, what is actually going to happen when you leave here? I think, I think we'll, we'll follow it, for sure. I def, I've been talking to her about cutting up the cards for a while now. What has been the pushback on that? Um, she wants some news to build credit and then just having them as like a backup for like gas and stuff whenever our checking account is negative. We can talk about building credit again after you're out of this whole situation. It yeah. doesn't matter. You guys are doing this now and your credits are in the what? What was it? 400s? 500s? 560s. It yeah. doesn't even matter at that point. Yeah. So who cares? Sorry, continue. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think um, it doesn't seem too hard to follow. Um, it's just about sitting down and putting our heads together and actually doing it and actually sticking to it for longer than, cause we, we have, we've done good for, we'll do good for like one or two months and then, you know, something will come up or whatever. Or we'll go on, we went on vacation last year and pretty much just blew all the savings uh, that we had. And sorry, vacations don't exist for the next two years. Yeah. It needs to be known. Yeah. Do you guys have close friends here? Close family here? Everybody. Yeah. Friends, good, family. Good. Yeah. So good groups. Yeah. Yeah. Let them know your situation. Show this this on this episode, and use them as a tool to keep you accountable. Yeah. Because I get that that happens to a lot of people. Even me with my diet, I'll do great for two months. I'll do great for six months, and then I'll have like terrible. Right. If you have people holding you accountable, and you're actively trying to have them hold you accountable, you know, like you're encouraging it, mm -hmm. it's gonna help so much. This fire will be lit under your ass right now. Yes, and you'll burn the cards. Yes, probably. But where are we gonna be in three months? So please take advantage of the amazing group around you. Make sure you're being held accountable. And we will definitely hold you accountable when you come and do a checkup. We'll do a checkup in like six months because in six months, what, the card should be gone. The, yeah. the cars, the tr or the vehicle is what's going to take forever, but the credit card should be gone. Yeah. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Not really. Just hope to stick to it. Hope to get her on board to stick to it. Hope to be out of debt. For Johnny, okay, that's a scary mess. I really hope they get it together. They can have a great life, but they have to get it together starting now. Hammer financial score, let's break down those categories. Spending within a budget, obviously zero out of 10. That's not even a question. 
debt one out of ten only because it's not like there's any crazy high interest student loans or anything in collections or like irs debt but it's still really bad retirement there's nothing zero out of ten emergency fund there actually is money there saved up three out of ten which helps them get this process started by the way real estate well they're not even close to in that game yet Th zero out of ten that comes to an aggregate hammer financial score one out of ten don't forget to check out the resources in the description below and don't forget to follow my instagram and twitter thanks